Wow, imagine Life Soon posting another YouTube video. Whoa. 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 But, uh, anyway. Um, today I just want to show off my MSK Soldier builds, which, you know, it's still not really done, but I try my best. I have some heroes I can switch around, and I will show them off too, but uh, before I really just dive into it, uh, I am going to be giving away a month of Nitro Classic on my Discord server in, for Save the Worlds. Uh, there will be a link in the description, and the giveaway will start once I hit 300 subscribers on YouTube, which I think I'm like 40-something away, 30-something away, but anyway... Alright, so here is my build so far. We have Special Forces Jonesy, and his commander perk is Warcry Gants, Grants, what the hell? Warcry Grants 25.5% additional weapon damage and 25% movement speed. Movement speed is not very good. It's not the reason why people use it. It's for the weapon damage, because... Uh, combined with uh, launcher damage by Demolitionist Penny, there's a lot of extra damage that goes into doing your shots on, like, crystals and MSK or, you know, just breaking the horns. Because if you're doing a full squad run, obviously you're going to have, like, one or two soldiers with this commander perk. And you just want to deal as much damage as possible. So that is why I use this hero. Well, I don't really use him very much. I don't use him often, but I just have him in case I need him. And team perk, Blast from the Past, removes all your shields and increases your max health by 200%. And as you can see, me solo right now, I have 923,000 health, which is a lot. And one of my heroes that are activating my Blast from the Past perk is, um, what's her name again? Prehistoric Iza, that's what it is. And her standard perk is, while shield is depleted, increases armor by 33%. Which, if you don't really know what armor is, armor is basically just, it's kind of like resistance. The more armor you have, the less damage you will take. And then Unearthly Treat increases damage versus miss monsters up to 42% based on the percentage of your missing health which I would probably say goes up to 42% missing health you would deal as much as you could but then again I only have this in my loadout just so I can you know like deal more damage and then faster explosions obviously is just damage saurian fight is while shield is depleted increases ability damage by 20% the only reason why I really have him in here is because of his because he helps with blast from the past but somebody else who i would really recommend is what's i forgot who i don't remember it's like something or i don't okay but her team perk is you get healed every five seconds for two two point one percent of your health which you know is really good she's a soldier as well and then something kind of important is subwafers. And subwafers are where you harvest metal objects, like that little metal house that MSK throws rocks at right when you spawn in. If you break that, or if you break the cars in the spawn area, or stuff like that, just metal objects in MSK, you'll get, you'll have a chance of getting subwafers. And before you start breaking the horn in MSK, obviously you would chug one or two subwafers and then you would just attack with your weapons and you would just deal as much as you could and then down to gadgets stationary hover turret just so you know you clear out husks around you and then adrenaline rush is pretty useful when it's like maxed out because when it's maxed out and you do adrenaline rush i need uh, any knock teammates next to you will get revived, but that's only when it's maxed out. As you can see, I have everything maxed out because I've just built different. And also my research, but that does not matter. And then uh, the reason why I don't have her healing me very much is because of my healing pad traps, which I try to craft a lot of. And it's almost god rolls. 
I want to get it to God rolls, but it heals you for a lot, and that's what I normally do. I just normally use healing pads. And then another thing is an ear splitter. I don't have good rolls on it. You probably shit on me in the comments for that, but I just don't really focus on it too much. The heavy attack when you're on the ground will boost your teammates like I think it's either I think it's damage and speed but it's if if somebody has that and the other teammates have a fury or a surround pound where's the surround pound there it is uh and you're all like attacking the horn obviously with a crit build you would be dealing almost as much damage as you could along with that extra war cry from special forces heroes i don't think i said this before but you can, you don't need special forces jonesy you can either use special forces banshee or special forces ramirez and she okay tricera ops ramirez is what that one hero is and where's that other hero at this is what Special Forces Ramirez is, so you can see she has the same ability. I don't have Banshee because I'm I'm not that kind of person, but I just don't have her actually, but you know hopefully this video actually helped you guys out and make sure to check the link in the description for the giveaway and to make sure to subscribe. Turn post notifications on. I can guarantee you I will not fill up your sub box. I will not fill up your notification box because I upload nearly monthly. <laughs> anyway, but uh, uh, take care. I will see you guys in the next one.